Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over a Rite Aid circular for some quick, easy deals where you can get some free items because I have had a couple of requests on people who want to start off small and just want to know how do I go about getting into couponing? Which deal should I start off with? So if you want something quick and easy and free, then I'm going to go over this Rite Aid circular. Well, not the whole thing, but just the deals that I'm going to do. And um, in case you want to do them too, they're not too complicated. And most of them are on oral care products, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and rinses, etc. And I will show, I'll go over one deal that I did tonight. I'm going to go back and try and do more this week, but I wanted to at least point them out to you guys so you have a little bit of time to try and get these deals done. So as you see, it's for Rite Aid, and it's for the week of July 27th through August 2nd, as you see right here. Okay, so let's get started. It's only a few of them. It's not too many. Okay, so here's the deal that I did tonight. It's on these Oral-B toothbrushes. They're $6 on sale. There's a $2 coupon that came in the PNG insert this past Sunday. In this PNG circular that came in the paper. So this is where I get the coupons. There was a $2 coupon in this circular. So $6 minus a $2 coupon. You're going to pay $4.00 and you're going to get a four dollar plus up reward. You have a limit of two times to do this per card. This is what the coupon looks like right there. Two dollars off of any one two dollars off of one Oral-B adult battery toothbrush as you see here's the picture and here are the toothbrushes that I got. Let me just back it up a little Okay, so those are the, my two toothbrushes. They match the coupon. So I had two of these coupons totaling four bucks. And I got two four dollar up rewards. So what happens is, remember I told you about those baseball caps and t-shirts that I was getting? Well, I had a bunch of nine dollar up rewards this is what an up reward looks like but I went in with a bunch of nine dollar up rewards so the only thing where you have to be creative is you have to use this amount of money you have to find something totaling nine dollars you can't be a penny under two pennies under it has to be a minimum of nine dollars now of course you can go over so as a couponer our objective is to get as close to nine dollars oops I almost uncovered it as close to nine dollars as possible so what I did was I got these two toothbrushes which were twelve dollars but once I gave them the two two dollar coupons that dropped it down to eight dollars so I still needed one more dollar in order to use this because it's four nine dollars for that other dollar I went ahead and added on one of these uh what do they call these zero calorie sparkling water beverages these are actually quite tasty so I got one of those they were on sale for 88 cents and then there was the $10 uh, CRV fee so that made it 98 cents so I'm still two pennies short so then I take this little caramel right here and I add that on and those caramels in the store are 33 cents but mine rang up for 30 cents because I have a card that has a it's at silver status and that means I get 10 percent off of everything regularly priced in the store so since the regular price was 33 cents of this caramel and when they rang it up on my card it rang up as 30 cents because I got 10 percent off which was three cents now once that happened here's my receipt of everything okay so let's go over the receipt so you can see how it all rang up and how it all adds up I should say let's see if I can get in close with this about it okay so you can see 
the first thing that rang up was the 88 cents for the soda and then the 10 cents for um, the CRV fee. The reason I did not get 10% off of this because this is on sale for 88 cents this week and the, t then the regular price right here is a dollar. So if the sale price is less than the 10% price, then they go ahead and give you the sale price. So if we were just doing it at its regular price of a dollar, 10% would have been 10 cents or so would have been 90 cents and then 10 cents. So that's why it's 88 cents because it's less than what the 10% would have been. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, here's the soda. Here's the $6 for the first toothbrush. And here's the $2 coupon that came off. $6 for the second toothbrush. Here's the $2 that came off. And then that had me at like... $8.98. So I needed two more pennies in order to use that $9. That's where I added this caramel. As you can see, it's 33 cents. She put two of them on there. I had her take one off. When they take it off, the regular price shows. But the regular price was 33 cents. But with my 10%, it rang up as 30. And then I gave her my $9. Uh, well, once she took that off and added everything up, it was $9.28. So I was 28 cents over. So I gave her my $9 up reward, and then that left me with a subtotal of $0.28 cents plus tax was $1.08. So I paid $1.36 for these two toothbrushes and my soda, or my sparkling water, and the caramel. So that's how that works. And then uh, this is what it looks like as far as for the up rewards. They print out on the receipt. Okay, so that's what the receipt looks like, and then this is what the up rewards look like at the bottom. So they print out at the bottom of your receipt, however many up rewards you get, it prints out for you. Then it gives you a summary of all the deals, if you've reached the limit, what the deal was, what the offer was. So that's basically how it works. So I got, I gave them $9 in paper, and I got back $8 in paper. And... That's pretty much it. And the reason that I had to give up that one is because I only did this one transaction tonight. There's others that I'm going to do, but I just wasn't prepared to do the other ones. And I'm going to show you the other ones that I'm planning on doing just to give you a heads up. So in case you guys want to go ahead and try these as well, you can get you some oral care for pretty much free. And the other thing I wanted to mention as well as for some reason I've been getting these. This is what we... When I refer to a Catalina, this is uh, what they look like. It's from Rite Aid, and this prints out, you know, when they give you your receipt, and they give you also this other piece of paper that prints out. This is what we call a Catalina. And this one, I got two of these, the last tran two transactions I did. And it's for $4 off when you purchase 20 And I ha hardly almost always, I should say, I almost always have a transaction that's twenty dollars or over so this is another four dollars these are kind of like up rewards if you use them correctly for me they're like up rewards because when I coupon I'm always I'm easily over twenty dollars no problem so that means when I use my up rewards and coupons I'm gonna save another four dollars on each transaction over twenty dollars so that's kind of cool so I just wanted to take the time to point out that these are what Catalina's are since I just got another one tonight with the transaction that I just did and this again is just covering up the barcode. And again, in regards to these up rewards as well as all of the other ones, if you notice, they all come with expiration dates. This is August 9th and this is August 12th. So that's one of the reasons why you coupon regularly and you don't have to end up throwing away any value. I say value because it's not money, but it's when you're a couponer, it's like money. To me, when I see this, this is $8 right here. So when you're couponing on a regular basis, you're never going to have to really worry about losing this value because you're going to use it pretty much on your next transaction, which is you're doing it weekly. Every now and then you may skip a week if there's no good deals, but they give you about two weeks minimum. Some give you three weeks or longer. But this basically is why we coupon on a regular basis so that we don't have to worry about things expiring on us. Now let's talk about the other deal that I plan to do. Uh, this is one of them. This is the 
uh, what does it say this is the crest oral rinse and as you see it's for one liter pro health one liter clinical or 3d white 473 milliliters you pay $3.99 and you get a three dollar plus up reward and there's a limit of two now this in itself is not bad to get this for 99 cents if you didn't have a coupon at all however there is a one dollar coupon out there and with the one dollar coupon you're going to pay three and get back three so it's going to be another freebie the one dollar coupon i believe is in last month's july's proctor and gam or yeah proctor and gamble insert and not in this one that just came out sunday this one is for august we just got it a little early i did not have my july coupon with me but i had my Procter & Gamble coupon for August and the reason I didn't do the deal is because the one that I got in August is only see if you can see this here is only for 50 cents so I want it for free so I'm gonna go and look in my July PNG and see if I have the one dollar one and then I'm gonna go back and get this one so that's the only reason that I didn't get it tonight I had it in my cart and everything but my coupon was for 50 cents off and not the dollar but if you have the dollar one then as you see it would be free so that's the next item I'm going to do or transaction this is another item I plan to I'm contemplating getting these for Janea now this one they're on sale for $3.99 there's a two dollar coupon that also came out in the PNG this past Sunday here it is here it's for two dollars off one Tampax pearl or radiant tampon 16 count or higher so it's on sale for $3.99 you use the coupon for two dollars and you get it for $1.99 that's a good price if you need them and you have to purchase them last time this deal came around and they were free I'm not sure if it was this brand. I think it was the Stay Free brand that were free the last time, but I wasn't able to get these because I didn't have all the proper coupons to get them free. So I know she's getting ready to go back to school in uh, next month. So unless something else comes up, I'm going to probably get a couple of these just to hold me over until the next free deal because these are her preferred ones. But these are, to me, just as good a brand as well. So I'm planning on doing those as well. These are not free. They're going to be $1.99, but I think that's a good price for those if you have to buy them. Okay, the next transaction I plan to do, which will also come up free, is this deal here where you can get either the Crest toothpaste, a manual toothbrush, or the Glide, um, what is this, the Glide floss. You're going to pay $3.00 and you're going to get back two dollars and fifty cents it says that there is a manufacturer's coupon that came out this past sunday for fifty cents well the one that i got was for a dollar right here for the floss and then also i got a dollar one for the toothbrush for this deal there's a limit of two and i'm going to go i've got plenty of toothpaste right now and toothbrushes so i'm going to go ahead and get the flosses because my flosses are low and I give that away a lot a lot of people request that from me I don't sell my stuff I give it to my friends and family so for this deal I'm going to get the floss the dental floss and I'm going to use this coupon right here a dollar off I have several of these coupons we've already discussed that uh, in my uh, learn to coupon video that I have a coupon hookup so I can do this deal two times per card so I can do it up to eight times so I'm gonna get eight dental flosses and they're going to be free the only thing that's going to hinder me is I have to work within that nine dollar amount so this is actually if I can do it two per card that's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm going to always be one off with the nine dollars so i'm going to have to find something else to couple with it in order to use that nine dollar up reward but nonetheless i'll work it out and it's still going to be free for me i'm going to pay three dollars 
I'm sorry, I'm going to pay $2. This is actually going to be a money maker for me. I'm going to pay $2 because I have a dollar off coupon and I'm going to get back $2.50. So I'm making $0.50. Cents. So after I buy all eight, um, I'm going to make one, two, three, four dollars on this one. So that's that's what we call a money maker. Now I'm going to give you an example of how I would go ahead and try to make this fit in to the nine dollar up reward that I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to go through the circular and show you some things that I may purchase in order to get up to the nine dollars. But I'm going to find things that still hopefully offer me money back so I'm not just giving away three dollars. So right now if you look at this and I've got two of these items so I'm already at six dollars so now I'm gonna show you how I would probably work around adding three more dollars but trying to at least get some of those three dollars back as well because we know we're getting the six back but we're so far having to give up three so let's see here's an example of something I might do I would this would catch my eye three composition books for dollar ninety eight and I get a dollar back so I would be paying 98 cents and I, I pay a dollar 98 but I get my dollar back so that's 98 cents of the three dollars so that's something that I would consider it actually would take two dollars of the three dollars I'd get the other one back on my cash register receipt but so far this would take me to basically two dollars and that two two cents is a big deal because if I'm not at nine as you know I'll have to probably throw in one of these candies again but so far I'd look at something like that and say okay I'm at two dollars right here and then then I would look at something like this as you see this is what I've already purchased tonight that sparkling uh, water beverage that I just did tonight with tonight's transaction they're on sale for 88 cents and then there would be the 10 cent CRV so that would be another 98 cents so now I'm at uh, two dollars and 96 cents so I'm four pennies short so that's actually not that bad because then I throw in this caramel and if I'm using a silver card I know this is going to ring up for 30 cents so 30 cents minus four pennies is now 26 cents so my total now would be three dollars and so it would be nine dollars and 26 cents so I'd be 26 as a subtotal and then whatever tax. So that's one option that I could do. This would be another option. Four for two dollars and you get back a dollar. There's no, no coupons needed or anything for this. The only reason I would not lean towards this initially, I'd work around trying to do this one is because I'm trying to stay away from all the candy and junk. I don't prefer to buy that anymore. I would like to use it on things I would actually want. But if I, if I was desperate, I'd go ahead and do it because I like that it's around $2 and I don't have that two cent situation. So then that means I would just need another dollar. And again, if I was totally desperate, I'd just go ahead and get this two for a dollar. There's nothing back here but I'm giving up a uh, dollar here and a dollar there so I at least get one dollar back and I'd just be losing from the three two dollars instead of all three so that's something I would do in desperation if I couldn't find anything else because to me this is just junk stuff that I don't need around in the house anymore now here's an even better scenario if I just didn't have time and didn't want to really think about it two for three dollars and get back a dollar so that would fix it right there I get two of these or either checks mix a combo or whatever and just give them away just to get them out of the house but now I've got my three dollars plus I'm getting one back so that wouldn't be a bad deal either because I'm getting something back so that would make it the quickest and the easiest if I were to take the two dental flosses for three dollars each so that's six dollars plus three dollars here and I would get back my six dollars for the dental floss and then I get one dollar back for these so I would give them nine and get back seven so if I had to lose something and I didn't want to take time and search and really try to find something I wanted and just wanted to be quick I'd do that but just to give you an example of how I look through I would look through the circular at that point to try and make things fit within my denominations that I have to spend in up rewards 
and again this is a time where if I needed something and I was low on something that I needed this is where I would try to get those items and I really do like these um, sparkling water so that's all I've been focusing on lately since it's so hot so hopefully that was helpful you guys that's all I'm not going to drag this out any longer but those are some things you can do this week and if you have the coupons then you can get some freebies if you don't have the coupons this could be your buy-in opportunity and that way you get some useful items everybody could use toothbrushes dental floss toothpaste and you know dental rinses you can never go wrong with those that's something we use every day so i'll see you guys later i'm going to try and and come on when there's easy simple type deals like this and i also try to come and show you some of my transactions as i do them as well all right have a good day bye bye